anyways, still judging him for it. Uh, but that brings me to my top five. Whose top five is it, guys? Mine. Oh, mine. oh mine. it's yours. <laughs> That's right. Pose. I'm bringing you the top five things that I'm judging you for. Fuck you, personally. Guys. Personally. And these are just like personality traits or things that you do that might just really piss me off. Number five. Everybody knows him. He might not be in your friend group because, like, you don't want those guys in your friend group. But if anybody, and girls do this too, people are one uppers. Somebody's telling a story or whatever, and they got to bring up something that they did that was better or just in any situation. If it's like a, if it's like a route to, get to McDonald's and there's five different ways to get there. He's like, nah, man, you should really go this way. Like just let the driver go to where everybody knows where they're going. The one upper guy, the one that's got to, he's got to put himself above others to just make him feel good. Fuck that guy or girl. We don't discriminate ladies. Number four. Uh, I actually know a lot of people personally that do this. So I'm really sorry guys. Uh, I'm. I will send this sh- like show uh, link to you personally, uh, so that you can hear my thoughts on this. Um, if you go to the store, you're 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 buying beer, and you buy this. You're at the bar. You ask for this beer. You seek this beer out. I'm talking about Miller Lite. <laughs> 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 the absolute fucking piss water of the beer community. We were just we were just with some people at the tailgate that were that had Miller Lights and they actually offered me one to shotgun and I said no. <laughs> Immediate no. <laughs> I still got six in though. There was actually an there was a bet between uh me, Corey and Jerry going around. The line was five and a half. Everybody I else, got, I got six. I think, but I t- somebody Corey told me the, the line, and I I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna do more. Than five. <laughs> I gotta hit the over. <laughs> but yeah, dude, Miller Lite sucks. Uh, and like I'm judging you, but it's kind of like a playful judge. Like I'll still hang around with you. Obviously, they're good people that had those Miller Lights, but like you have shit tasted beer. Number three. This is a super important one in my life, and it should be a super important one in a lot of people's lives. Because if uh, if this this number three is like actually like a, a friggin' warning sign for serial killers, uh, like if this person does this, they will, will turn out to be a serial killer later on in life. But if like you don't like animals, if you if you're mean to animals, and specifically dogs, like. Even if you don't take it to the extreme of like little serial killer kids that like fucking torture animals and and like kill them for fun, get their rocks off. It's got like even if, well, dude, it's it's a it's legit. Those you got look out for the warning signs. If you got a little kid that was like murdering squirrels, you might have like a sociopath on your hand. Like true, (laughs) true. Uh, but anyways, like if you're just like overtly mean. To dogs, or like you just have like a like, dude. I don't like dogs. I'm judging you for that. If it's not allergy related, and even the people that like super super hate cats too, I'm like, dude, like what's most cats are cool. Like fuck off. It, what if it's tr- uh, trauma related? You okay with that? No, then I'm victim blaming. It's like, okay, well then, what did you do to put yourself in that situation? All right. There is what the- did you? What did you do? A four-year-old kid that got attacked by a random dog. All right. Well, then don't be don't be playing around where fucking big dogs are. All right. Go in the backyard. (laughs) The dog jumped the fence. Damn it. (laughs) Then your then your mama should have had a better like eye on you. Like I don't know. It's not the dog's fault. Number two. Uh, if you willingly eat Miracle Whip, 
Now, this one is way more intense than my Miller Lite peeve. Okay? Miracle Whip. Is Ty Bob's back to, about to go grab some Miracle Whip, is he not? He's going to grab like a big old can of it. Are you going to go grab some Miracle Whip? Uh, I, I've switched to Hellman's. I'm a Hellman's guy, but I don't mind Miracle Whip. I don't mind it. Do Do you think Miracle Whip is mayonnaise? What are you the person it? that are you the person that thinks Miracle Whip and mayonnaise are like interchangeable? When everybody hears mayonnaise, are you if, if like no? Like, when I, I when I hear mayonnaise, I think a hell. Stop! 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 If I'm making a sandwich at your place and I'm like, "Hey, dude, where's your mayonnaise?" Oh, it, it's hell. Like, no, listen. If the only option you had is Miracle Whip, okay. Let's preface this. Oh yeah, then I'm handing. That, okay, you go where the mayonnaise. I'm giving you the. Miracle Whip, if that's all I got. Oh my! What is it? Is it uh, not? I don't. I don't know. No, I'm not, I don't. Not mayonnaise. I don't eat a lot of. I don't eat it's a lot of mayonnaise. mayonnaise. So, dude, I dip my hand in the fucking jar. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do make things like like chicken salad and tuna salad that require mayonnaise. Uh, Miracle Whip is a is a tangy dressing that is like mayonnaise but it has a, a completely different flavor and i don't know what the fuck that flavor is because it's disgusting absolutely terrible real mayonnaise is the only thing that should be going on, on your lunch meat sandwiches that resembles mayonnaise Does that makes sense like you can put mustard on your sandwich but if you if you god dude miracle whip is so disgusting it's so bad. It even has like a, like mayonnaise kind of has a weird smell when you open the jar, but like Miracle Whip makes my like, like my spine tingle. Like, all right, nobody, you know. If you love Miracle Whip, sound off in the comments. <laughs> Please. I will, I will fight you people. All right. <laughs> and my, my number one thing that I'm judging you for, and listen, if you're a guy and you do this, like I might just like walk up to you and punch you in the face. Um, I'm, I judge females that do this and it's, it's, it's predominantly females. I don't think I've ever really seen a man do this. Um, bare feet on the dance floor. Okay. Listen, it's not as bad at like weddings and, and like private venues and stuff like that. But if you're at the fucking bar, bitch. And you have to take your shoes off to dance. Go fucking home. I'm gonna channel. I'm gonna channel my wife right here. Okay. If you can't wear the shoes, don't buy them or what? Don't wear them. If you can't wear the fucking shoe all night, don't fucking wear them. Okay. I, she's got a saying, and I don't think it's exactly fit for this scenario. But if like if you can't wear the shoes. Doing what you want to do, like you're. I'm gonna go out and dance. Like I'm gonna wear these fucking high heels. Oh, my feet hurt. I ain't taking them off. And you put your bare ass feet on the nasty, disgusting dance floor. What I'm picturing is is girls at Willie T's, Sean. Oh, in God. in Cape Girardeau, while we were in college. Nasty place. There'd be like a fucking puddle in the middle of the bar. And bitches would be walking around with their shoes Straight through off <laughs> in their bare feet. Somebody's sucking on their toes later, I'm sure. And here's the thing, like I'm I'm a huge, like I mean <laughs> let me rephrase this correctly so you guys don't fucking call me out on it. Like <laughs> I'm like the biggest anti foot fetish guy, okay? Like I don't like it even when my wife's feet touch me. Okay. This is news to me. But Ew. it's just the it's still the idea of it. Like put your fucking shoes on. That's how you get hookworms. I don't know what those are. You don't want them. I don't. Just from the name, it sounds like you don't want them. I don't want anything worm. It's a parasite. You're a parasite, Baldy. Can can be. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. That one but got me did, fired up. <laughs> but you did, you did mean every single one of those judgment calls. Yeah, dude. It, it, seriously, if you saw a dude like 
like it's been, like at a wedding too. Like if you see a dude like kick his fucking shoes off, it looks like <laughs> dude. I'm kicking him out. I'm kicking him out. If I I've Please. never seen a dude now. take his shoes off at a dance anywhere. <laughs> if I see that, I am kicking you out personally. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not even a bouncer at, at this but... place, dude. Like, get the fuck out. I don't care if it's a groom. I'm kicking you. <laughs> <out>. <laughs>